alpacas and unicorns and about appreciation culture. Uh, we are doing the translation via Lana and Katie. If you have feedback, um, you can send this on Twitter using the hashtag C3T. The talk is given uh, by the group of Jugendhackt. Um, which is a project um, which has been going on for several years and they're always critically reflecting about what they can do better to improve their project. They are highly reliant on volunteers to, um, and yeah, the question which this talk will be about is how uh, to appreciate the work your volunteers are doing and how to keep them motivated to be involved in the project. So. Um, yeah, this is what this talk is going to be about. Um, there are several, several people on stage from Mediale Fade um, and the Knowledge Foundation, which are the two organizations running this project. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm the main organizing alpaca of the herd of Jugendhackt. We want to talk about what appreciation and acknowledgement means to us and why it is an um, often neglected aspect of voluntary work. In our project, we um, have a lot of, we have, well, it is important to us and we have made experience with that and it, we made some things wrong, but we also, well, we did some things right and also we made some mistakes which we can learn from. And when we are talking uh, about we in the next half an hour for the talk, we mean the four people on stage, which are the people wh whose actual main job it is to work on this project. Who of you knows Jugendhackt? Well, a lot of people raised their hands, like around half of the audience has already been to Jugendhackt. So a quick introduction in a nutshell. We want to um, work with young people who are interested in Tec technic, technical stuff basically, um, who don't have a base to go to right in their direct environment and we want to provide this place for them. And Jugendhack wouldn't be possible just as this Congress if they wouldn't be helped by volunteers. And around this project, there is a big community which extends only the participants, but there are a lot of more people. It's a lot of work to um, organize this kind of event with young people. Everyone who has organized a children's birthday party can, I guess, relate to that. And our talk is about um, appreciation, appreciation and acknowledgement, which is mainly do done by adults as well. And there are different roles and um, tasks within this. Um, I want to explain these. For every event, there are organizing teams, um, which organize all the stuff which there is to do. On the events themselves, there are mentors who are there for technical questions the young people might have and uh, help with brainstorming and with working on the project. Around that, there's a big group of helpers who do any other kind of task which are Sorry. there to do at the event. <laughs> oh, I skipped the um, slide, but this is the one. Jugendhack wouldn't be possible without these volunteers who are taking on all of these responsibilities. A big appreciation has been given to this very important work uh, by the Deutsche Engagement Prize, which is a prize for um, well, mainly volunteer work in Germany. And um, it was in this um, category of democratic um, development. 
Naja, das ging schnell. Ähm, <lacht> also, so ein Preis ähm, ist tatsächlich. Äh, auch kind of price is ähm, a nice kind of halt appreciation. Aspekte, uh, but a lot die, more important um, to us are some other aspects, which we want to talk about. Anerkennung hat für uns sehr viel mit Respekt zu tun. Appreciation for us is about respect, uh, und den respect for the voluntary und work and the people behind it. For us, that means respect towards the time and attention of the, <laughs> <laughs> of the. I'm sorry, there has been an alpaca spotted. Um, yeah, and there, for this, there is hugely important to be. Transparent. Transparency is important. So we uh, want the people to know what they are going into when they want to get engaged with the Jugend Tech community. So we want to be transparent about what um, kind of uh, social interaction we want to have uh, at our event. So we have released a code of conduct, which means also acknowledging uh, the experiences that people have and how they want to be treated and this we also want this to be part of people uh, that, which is important for the people taking part in the community for them to feel well so there also needs to be a process um, what happens if the code of contact, conduct is violated and we are still working on what these consequences should be. Also an important, an important part is to know what kind of tasks are going uh, to be there, how much time they, these tasks need to do them. So to be on low level, to have a low level entry um, be possible for people who are coming, who are thinking about joining our community. And we announce all of these on our website and on every briefing for the mentors um, taking part before every event. So the separation and to mentors and everyone else. This was a very bright moment for us uh, this, at this event only. So we got the, we got the feedback um, from a lot of people in the last years that um, people who wanted to join our um, event and thought it was a great idea, didn't think they had the experience to be the mentors, but um, we weren't clear about communicating that there were a lot of other tasks which needed to be done. And we tried to co uh, communicate this better um, for this event, and so we made the separation. So, yeah. Another point where we have to, where we can learn a lot of appreciation culture is um, to take a closer look at the community. There are a lot of reasons for doing voluntary work. This can be very egoistic, very emotional, very intellectual. Sage, dass sich für offene Datenstandards einzusetzen wahrscheinlich keine im Kern sehr emotionale Motivation ist. I don't want to hurt everyone when I say that doing good work for open data structure is not emotional, but on the other way around, we found that um, adult, adults. Um, Für die Jugendlichen tun, weil sie sich das in ihrer eigenen Kindheit gewünscht hätten. Also so that eine adults work for us. Um, und wir glauben, work for us because Jugend hackt, does all the things they wanted to do when they were kids, which is a very emotional aspect. So, what is the reason that people work with our communities? And we have to reflect from this to learn to learn this and to make this a bigger group and. Um, Und die verstärken sich durch die Prozesse, die halt bei euch in der to get an even higher motivation and wenn dieser selbstverstärkende Effekt auf die Motivation trifft oder eine Gefahr and bestimmt sozusagen auch euer Setting diese Motivation einzubetten und zu fördern. 
And this is actually, this can be kind of a bad or a good aspect, but because if you work um, full-time in voluntary work, motivation is a very important point. And of course, we have to find gaps, um, uh, uh, holes and gaps. <laughs> Another one solved the bingo um, and, and shouted a packer. <laughs> oh, it would be an, it, it was an amazing idea to do this a packer um, shit bingo. Na, also Hauptamt uh, if you do it as a full-time job, you think about who is there, but who isn't, so who isn't on your agenda. And in some um, voluntary communities, it can be a problem if only one person has the point of is checking the motivation of all the people and checking the motivation level. So this overview, overview of all people and over the whole uh, motivation in the whole situation, and uh, to have this sort of person is really good, which do is full time. So you don't don't forget about the physical contact. I mean, it, that's actually what we do at the moment. Getting a speech is one of is a very good idea and is working good. And of course, we have to learn out of faults we do. Jugendhakt is growing really fast and is getting bigger and bigger. And we, have, we uh, evolve a lot. And suddenly, and suddenly we had a lot of mentors and a lot of helpers, and suddenly we were growing, and we have to find out what does this to the motivation, and what does this... The second point, which has a lot to do with acceptance, is in this community, for example, for us, it's we found the, we had this um, logo and we had, we fighted about what sort of animal is it. And, and then a group of young people um, solved this problem by finding the Apaka, because when um, because uh, Sandy Das Kaline came over for a boy who couldn't participate, and um, Sandy we solved the conflict if this is a beer or something else. Um, so suddenly we all in the Alpaca fever. And our logo is very, very asymmetric, asymmetrical, um, which makes a huge problem as well. And some people are really, really think this is really, really bad. And other, on the other hand, people think, oh, that's pixel shaming. And we had this discussion. We're really sorry about that, but we to open to open this question. But this discussion gets us together, hold us together. Uh, be open. Um, appreciate also empty spaces and give them a chair. And I didn't get the third one. I'm sorry. Schauen uns natürlich auch an, wie wie das Ganze so funktioniert als sozialer Raum, soziale Räume. So we are also looking at how this is working as a social room, because social rooms can be um, passieren zu lassen oder man kann eben das sehr aktiv sich anschauen. So ein 
Well, social rooms can't be shaped, and we also want to um, look at this particip participation, uh, well, the letter of participation, um, which is a main thing to talk about youth participation. They have a couple of steps, um, and they also it also makes clear where participation isn't happening, like instrumentalization, which is one of the classical things which happens if you work with youth, and which is we get we get a lot of people who um, approach us as well. Um, so, for example, the mayor of a city wants to take a picture uh, with a young people together, which isn't really about participation, but just for representation, so it's an instrumentalization of the young people. So this isn't the typical style of politics, but it happens all the time, again and again. So you should definitely step away from this. And there are different um, pre-stages to participation. One of them is information. A lot of us are um, working on open data. So this is a basic of in information and also, well, the basic uh, a basic thing for participation is information, which is a low level of participation, but um, which is important, and but it's not going that far. The second step of low level participation um, is if you can say what you um, want to say um, about the topic, so you l get listened to, and um, also to get in, get involved. So this is where we would be seeing us. So. Um, when we are talking about participation, we don't have an instrument, like a structural thing um, where we are saying this is a part where you can actively participate. We, we are not there yet. We, we don't think it would work like this right now because the discussions aren't going on on this level. We are, we are talking about if we want uh, to mentors to be participating in the early stages of the event before the event, um, which we are not yet clear about, um, because it makes the process a lot of a lot slower if all the mentors are participating before and you have a lot of discussions on how things will be running. Uh, but well, it's also more participatory. Obviously, we are not sure about this ourselves, and we can't say this for your community if you want to have this. And there are steps even above this level of participation, um, which is self-organizing. Um, so we kind of have this in some points, um, especially at our event, there is self-organizing because the young people are working there themselves. And the mentors are only there um, to be in the background and help if needed. But it's about self-organization, um, which is the highest form of participation. Uh, this doesn't always make sense for every community at all the time, but as a perspective, uh, as maybe a look into the future, I think this can be something which should be worked towards too. We as the full-time employees have the time to think about this kind of things. And well, time is an important factor in this. And if you talk about hierarchies and power, um, you should be looking at, at this. And power is, you gain power by doing. And what is done is often determined by who has the time to do it. So some, sometimes that also is um, hard to say because also a factor is um, some people might have the time to do stuff but don't have the experience to do it and also the other way around. Sometimes people have the experience but don't have a lot of time. So I would encourage you to think about this and ref uh, yeah, reflect how this is 
Because so this is not always the best form of part, uh, well, organizing in general. So this is not always the best because it for, it um, encourages certain kind of people and in some cases, well, men. Another point, of, point important is uh, to look at your own plan and if this is the same as the plan the community has. So to um, yeah, look at these two and relate them to each other because sometimes they are the same, but sometimes they, not, they are not. So it's important to also talk to the community. We talked a lot to the mentors and see what their their interests are or what they think about certain things. And the community of communities is very important. Just a few people in our tech community um, Community <laughs> uh, are only in one community. So communities rely to each other and have experience within other other sub communities of this big community. And um, also sometimes you have bad experiences within communities uh, or with only a couple of people, like only individuals in one community. And also to think about this and how this impacts, like how you act in the current communities you are in. So thanks a lot to all the communities who have been existing a lot longer and who have, well, obviously shaped our community. Uh, so a lot of mentors are out of these communities. One is, um, I didn't get the name, but it's by the open, uh, community by the Open Knowledge Foundation, uh, where a lot of mentors have been active and many thanks to this and many thanks to all the other communities who have been doing great work. So um, also communities inside youth work, uh, we are not the only ones doing youth work. Um, so it's very valuable to have this exchange here also with other tech communities and youth workers. Another point in this part is, of course, there are different um, um, uh, different types of acknowledgement, and we have to we have to step by and help them on their way by mentoring and. <laughs> Alpaca has been found. <laughs> You're supposed to listen to the talk, not play the game. Well, yes. So, for most of our mentoring uh, people, um, it's totally new to work with young people and they want to learn and, um, and they want to learn how to um, exchange knowledge. Um, and so you have to um, to help. Um, so you have to help them, and what really helps are feedback uh, rounds. And um, we have a very a good team around, and um, which which helps us with these sort of questions. And of course, we will offer um, programs um, which are um, pedagogic programs which will help them, which we want to have, of course, for free. So there you learn like how to play games, um, like example questions or problems we always have, or um, how to deal with groups and how to deal with different sort of groups. Weiter super wichtig ist natürlich, ähm, wie eben auch schon angesprochen, dieses Regel, dieser regelmäßige ähm, Austausch und ähm, um, what we need as well is an exchange um, and a feedback. Before the event, we make an, um, uh, a meet up in advance. Um, and um, after um, after the event, we do a feed up round and also a meet again and. 
in the middle of the event uh, we meet as well and talking uh, about everything that's important. For all the, um, we ask the people for the feedback and we take this serious. Um, we show them how, to, how they can participate. And of course, um, we need to find out where do they need what and need the experience uh, um, and where do they get the experience from. This year, we have a totally new thing, the open badges. We want to, um, uh, what we want to do is, we want to... We want to make sure that we don't have a success, but we want to make um, what we want to do is we actually want to honor a positive um, positive work so um, uh, we want to have um, um, positive actions which needs to be rewarded and so we need this uh, type of uh, batched and everything else um, which can be like um, uh, to tell people that they have done something pretty good or to, uh, to we build, so we actually build it something which is similar to achievements in video games. You can get them very easily and, and these badges is actually the physical form of acknowledgement. Da kam halt auch die Frage auf, was passiert denn eigentlich, wenn man nur den immer sichtbaren Jugendlichen so ein Badge vergibt und die anderen hinten runterfallen? So what happens now if, um, if only a special type of people, which is visible, get these badges and the other ones don't? Um, and so everyone has to think about what was the reason that one of them got this sort of achievement and what was my reason to give it to them. We have two basic examples. We have a tech skill um, budget and we have a social skill budget. And if you want to know more about this, just look up the link below. No, now we talk about fails. Of course, we have to deal with fail culture. And of course, we have to reflect on this because we have a lot of blind spots. We, we try to do this in a video. And at the end of our Berlin event, we showed it and we were really nervous and the whole Orga team was nervous. But hey, we work with 12 and 18 years old young people. So this is actually a really big exercise and we don't know them and then we have to present everything um, on this big stage. So what we said, okay, let's put all our fails on stage. And then we reflect what's happened um, the last years and make it more easier by presenting the shit. And we want to love at the beginning and now we show a short video. The jury braucht irgendwie länger als geplant. The jury needs more time than need, need well, plans and cyber. I really need a jury. Where, where are they? Oh, come on. All these young people, they don't smell very nice. They wear weird clothes and they have 
beards. So what can we do now? What is to do? Well, uh, well ex I expect the youth to um, encourage the European Space Program. Aha, I have no idea what this person is talking about. <laughs> it can't be that complicated to do a good Wi-Fi. I'm sorry? One minute. I can only give out the prizes. Before you enter the stage, you breathe through your body and just say, Fuck it. Yes, and so this was the idea to make it more easy for the young people because, well, as you see, there are few insiders in, in it, and of course, insiders are just fun for the people who know them. So, Insiders can be really, really funny and um, for one one for one group, but and in uh, but of course are not the main thing. Genau, so sieht's aus. Danke an alle ehrenamtlichen fleißigen. Well, thank you to all the volunteers, to all the very smart people who gave input to this talk. Some names. I'm sorry. Thank you all very much for listening. We are very happy about feedback um, for us. So, where do you think our blind spots are? Where uh, maybe you have experience from your ex uh, communities, which you think is very valuable? So, have a look at our code of conduct, see what is good about it or what you don't like about it. And if you're interested in anything you saw here, here are the sources and links where you can get more information. Another alpaca has been found. I'm very thankful for your time. Thank you very much. And thank you for listening. We are, tra we are the translation team. And if you have any feedback about us, um, just tweet it with the hashtag C3T or at our Twitter account C3Lingo. Thank you very much.